At municipal street repair facilities across the area, snow plows and salt spreaders were at the ready this morning. Here in Norfolk, to prevent corrosion, this spreader was dumping its old load of salt to make room for a new one. It's been a busy week for the people here, the cold temperatures generating dozens of reports of icy roads. But this day, most believed, was to be the worst. All right, it's starting to rain a little bit right now. Uh, what's going through your mind as you're thinking about the day ahead? Uh, it could be a long night ahead. <laughs> this was a day of waiting and watching at the National Weather Service in Norfolk, too. Forecasters here were keeping their fingers crossed, hoping for the best, fearing the worst. Charlottesville's got heavy snow. They have moderately heavy snow in uh, Asheville. Chief Meteorologist Terry Ritter's mind was clearly on the storm. Around noon, it was proceeding up the coastline, gathering intensity but its future was tough to chart. It's a developing storm. We know it's going to become a major coastal storm. Uh, when it makes this major development is critical. Critical because if it developed off our coast, it would drag in cold air from the north and west, giving us up to six inches of snow. If it developed later, we would get just a dusting of the white stuff, an inch or two. But outside, conditions looked ominous. The temperatures remained below freezing all afternoon, prompting a revised and more severe storm warning. Light rain turned into ice, making driving, especially on bridges, very hazardous. As the sun went down, that light rain turned into sleet. But by midnight, forecasters say we should have four to six inches of snow on the ground. Tonight, in other words, is a great night to stay home. In Portsmouth, Joel Rubin, The Daily News.